and I, I, I will go short on this. I, I, I do want to follow through on a couple of things there on uh, illegal activity. Uh, you've all been very outspoken on dealing with uh, sexual child predators, with uh, different issues, drug trafficking. Those are all good things to be able to engage on. But it's fascinating to me that the platforms have chosen to say there are some illegal activities we're okay with. In fact, we're going to facilitate. One of those is illegally crossing our southern border. Um, I, it's not hard for me to go to YouTube and I just type in how to cross the border illegally and I get a video that says how to illegally cross the Mexico-US border. It's had 1.7 million views and it's been there for two years. And yes, I watched it and it showed where to be able to cross, what highways to avoid, where the border patrol typically puts up stations, how to be able to look for different aspects. I mean, it in detail shows a video of, here's how to illegally cross the Mexico US border and where to be able to cross and how to avoid border patrol. This has been up for two years and it's had 1.7 million views. As I mentioned on Facebook, Facebook has ads that I can actually show you that are human smugglers placing ads in Central America so people will know how to be able to connect with them to be able to travel through Mexico, to be able to pay the cartels, which are a ruthless drug organization, to be able to get in the United States. My confusion on this is I don't understand why the platforms look at illegally crossing the border as we're going to look the other way when your user agreements say we don't promote illegal activity except for this one. Help me understand why that's different. Um, Senator, uh, I, I don't know about that specific video. I will. I am happy to follow up uh, with. It's, my it's not just one. It's a bunch. That's just the first of many. And, I, and I'm happy to follow up on okay. those. But just in general. Uh, we do have very clear policies uh, where content that encourages dangerous behavior, not just illegal behavior, but dangerous, harmful behavior, sure. uh, is removed from our platform. We have the four R's approach that I described in my right. opening testimony, where it's not just about removal of content, but also reduction of content, raising up authoritative uh, um, sources. So in the context of people searching for that type of information, making uh, n uh, news stories from prominent mainstream news outlets prominent. So we do try to have a holistic approach to dealing with this type of content on our platform. Uh, we're not perfect. We continue to improve both, both our policies as well as our enforcement. Uh, in this specific case, I'm happy to follow up. Uh, but we do have very clear policies against cartels, uh, harmful criminal conspiracies, uh, other types of organizations where their type of activity is not allowed on our platform. Well, I would, I would only say this particular video, which by the way, this one's in English, this particular video even talks about how to be able to connect with the cartel and how much the cost is going to be when you get to the southern border. Senator, but I'm happy to follow up, but I, we do I, take our enforcement I, extremely I get it. Seriously. This part's not being enforced. That's what I'm trying to say to you is that I, I do see all the platforms trying to deal with drug trafficking, but human smuggling and illegally crossing the border is not being enforced. I'm not asking you to solve it today. I'm raising it as an issue to say somehow we treat cartels different than terrorist organizations. Cartels are transnational criminal organizations that are making money off of moving people illegally into our country and making money off illegally moving drugs in our country. And I would like for our social media platforms to engage with a criminal organization and with criminal activity consistent to your own terms of service. That's it. I yield back my time. 